All right, guys, it's bath time. I have a bath bomb here from Atomic Bomb. This thing is mammoth and is gorgeous. This is called her Hippy Dippy. Uh, Hippy Dippy is listed under a bubble bomb. So hopefully we get some cool bubbles out of him. And he's supposed to turn your water black. Look how colorful he is. And this is going to turn our water black. So let's see what happens. Uh, this is from Tammy from Atomic Bomb Bath and Body. I do have her link down below. She is my favorite, favorite bath shop right now, just because she has a one-stop shop with every bath bomb. Uh, with her bath bombs, you can eliminate your bath melt. You can eliminate your bath bubbler, uh, whether you're using liquid bubbles or solid bubble bath. And you can pretty much eliminate anything else because the one bath bomb does it all. Holy shit, look at this color. This one has a really nice scent. I can smell patchouli in it. So all of you that are like karma lovers, this is perfect for you. And it's not an overpowering punch you in the face patchouli. It's mixed with something else and it smells absolutely beautiful. Wow, look at this water. Every bath bomb that I've gotten from her so far has put on an amazing show. Like, I mean, like, how could you go wrong? I mean, the last one we had was like so psychedelic looking and it just looks absolutely beautiful. <gasps> look! Our water is turning black. Holy shit. Holy crap, it's turning black. I guess the mixture of the colors will actually make the black water. See, 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 it's starting to turn, it's starting to turn. And then once we flick our faucets on and we check and see how many bubbles we get, you will probably see the black water, black water. Like, cause look at it back here. It's a dark greenish and it's starting to turn. That's awesome to go from something so pretty and so colorful. Wow, it smells so fucking awesome. I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan of patchouli whatsoever. Um, it's not bad in moderation, but if you're gonna do something like the Karma Soap, like from Lush, I think the Karma soap just is too overpacked and it's too much. But I do like the other Karma products, which are a patchouli scent, and this is a patchouli scent. And it actually has a nice a nice patchouli smell with something else, and it is can't think of the other, something else that's in it, but I do have the, the label right here. So maybe I can figure out what it is. But look at this water. Look at this. Tell me that's not absolutely beautiful. And we're still foaming out here. I love that her bombs foam, too. They're not just, you know, a regular fizzer. They foam. They're really, really, really pretty. Um, We're just about done with the foaming. And then we can go ahead and flick our thingy on. See, I love her things because not only does she have her label on the front here, she's also got the name of it there. And on the ins on right here, she has a little... Sorry, I got out of frame. She's got a little thing here which you open up. It tells you everything that's in the products in case you have an allergy. And if you peel it off here, you can see it has everything in here. And when your bubbles die down, you flick the water back on and they come right back. So let's go ahead and flick our water on and let's make some bubbles, guys. Now I'm not doing bubble trick where I'm like holding the faucet so it goes like Niagara Falls. I'm just letting it run normally. And yes, we have black water, look. It's black! On camera it's looking green, but to me it is a bright black. And look at all the bubbles we got. This is like a one-stop shop bomb because here's the moisture again. I don't need a bath melt. I don't need a piece of a bubble bar. Look at that. And it has the bath bomb scent and everything and the beautiful show and beautiful color. So for me, it's perfect. I really do love her bath. I call her the bath bomb whisperer. Yeah, I mean, there's not one thing that she has sent me that I did not like. And me being a non-patchouli fan, I'm in love with the smell of this bath bomb. And it is patchouli scented, but it's patchouli and something else. It's not overpowering. It's not making me feel like I have a headache or making me sick. It is a patchouli with a mixture of something. I just, I'm not sure what the hell the something is. But it actually makes it a nice, more of a calming, nice, like, uh, 
I don't want to sound like an asshole, but if I say like a zen feeling, that's what it does. It gives you like that kind of zen kind of smell, you know, like if you've ever been to a spa, boom, there you go. All right, I'm gonna stop it here because as you know, if I build up too many bubbles, Boogie has dinner. <laughs> so I'm only gonna build up a small layer, which is just like one layer of foam. And look, we got bubbles. And I can get down to the water and I can show you how dark our water is. Now it's not a hex bomb black from what I've seen because I haven't demoed a black one yet on this channel, but it is deep black water. We got it. With that beautiful colored bath bomb, we got black water. I am totally blown away. I'm really shocked. <laughs> I did not expect to get black water. I figured, you know, maybe green, because orange and blue. But then it had some red in it, too. So, I don't know. And then once these bubbles start to dissipate on me, uh, if I flick my water back on, boom, they all come right back. Boogie loves that. Boogs, uh, my apologies for not doing a bath last night, but Boogs, man, he was out, and I was not waking his ass up. So I took a quick shower and went out. I, you know, it comes to a point, being a mom, you need some damn sleep every now and then. And thank God he went to sleep all night. And I guess maybe it was just keeping him up all day and keeping him riled that he just gave in. You know, he really just, ton of bricks it down. Wouldn't move, wouldn't get up. I had to check to see if he was breathing, you know. I fell asleep earlier and I wake up and I was talking to Richie and I was like, Hey, um, why didn't you wake me up? I wanted to do a bath with the baby and everything. What's going on? He goes, go do it now. He goes, because you were so out of it, I had to keep checking to see if you were breathing. So, I was, it's just, you know, you gotta catch up at some point, man, and because I slept good with him last night, I continued on when he went down for his nap, I stayed out. Him and Bugs were up watching cartoons, hanging out, and not Mommy. Mommy was out like a ton of bricks. Oh, I love the way her water feels. I cannot say any more good things about Atomic Bomb except for, you just have to try it. You have to give it a try. Without a doubt, you have got to give Atomic Bomb a shot. I do list her Etsy shop, Etsy, sorry, Etsy shop down below. Oh, look, we got some color, we got some color still. <laughs> Let's mix that in. <laughs> I do list her Etsy shop down below. Your best bet to get the most perfect bath bomb that you love is to have her custom create you something. Because in that way, you'll get everything that you love in a bath bomb, but you'll get that same spa feeling on your hands and shit. Like, your whole body will feel moisturized and... You can literally, this might be TMI, but you can literally jump in this bathtub, shave your legs. You know, like at the end of the bath when you're like, you know, done relaxing and everything. You can shave your legs in it and just, you know, save yourself a little bit of water at the bottom. Not needing shaving cream, soap, shaving butter, anything like that. And you will have the smoothest legs in the world. I have friggin', I've done it so many times. Every time I light, light off one of her bath, you hear me? Light off. Every time I set off one of her bombs, I do that. And I have the smoothest legs in the world. Because I'm one of those nuts that I shave every single friggin' day. Uh, I shave everything every single day. Uh, no arm hair. Well, my forearm hair, sometimes I let grow in for a day or two. But then I shave it all off again. So no arm hair, no armpit hair, no leg hair, no <laughs> hair. Um, I don't like hair on a body. I don't like it whatsoever. For me, it's just not something I'm comfortable with. So I shave every inch of my body, except my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and my, forehead, and my top of my head. Um, and yes, at one point I did shave my head. Uh, I went through chemo, didn't like that all my hair was falling out, and pfft, took it all off. So, um, yeah, you can definitely jump in here, and it is like using a shaving butter. And I have a nice amount of bubbles, which I just kind of pushed a bunch of them over, so we can see the water here, and I can get them away from where me and Bugs are going to sit. But yes, I just got a black bath bomb, bath bomb out of a rainbow-colored bath bomb. That's so cool. Hippy Dippy definitely does suit its name because it does have that 70s patchouli scent. I was not around during the 70s, but when I asked my dad what was the 70s like and what were some of the scents from the 70s and, you know, did you guys have any special, because I thought it was like all organic stuff and like everybody went really nuts with all the Save the Earth shit. And turns out, no, <laughs> they did not go nuts with the Save the, Earth, Save the Earth shit. They smoked the Earth. So <laughs> he said it smelled like dope and sweat. So, to me, patchouli is a beautiful, what I would say, thought of what the 70s smelled like. <laughs> and what everybody smelled like back then, with all the earthy scents and things like that. I really like the smell. 
I definitely do like the smell of the patchouli. I am definitely loving the feel of my water. I just can't keep my freaking hands out of it. And look, no oil sheen. See that? There's no oil sheen on here, but it feels like there should be, you know? It just really feels like there should be like a whole sheen of oil across the top. Like if you ever look at like Expert's um, Whiskey Mermaid video, she says, look, it's going to be moisturizing because there's a sheen of oil. Okay, you would think that there should be a sheen going across here and you could like see yourself in it. You're just seeing the reflection to my ceiling right now, but you would think you could see it. There's no oil sheen, but it feels like there are some like moisturizing butters all through here. I'm getting more bubbles coming up. It definitely feels like there are moisturizing bubbles all through here, like uh, bubbles, the moisturizing butters and shit all through here. More bubbles. <laughs> 434, man, everybody loves bubbles. And her bath bombs are a one-stop shop that I love. I can't get over how much I really do love this woman's products. Once again, you can find her in the links down below, and it says Atomic Bomb Bath and Body, and that's Tammy. I don't know if I put her name next to it. Or you can jump on my Facebook, or you can jump on her Atomic Bomb Bath and Body Facebook, and you can find her there, and I would definitely talk to her, message her. She's easy as shit to talk to. She's an awesome person. I now start calling her like one of my family because I talk to her so much now that it's, you know, and, you learn, and she just did a massive custom order for me. And she threw in a bunch of little goodies and things like that. And if you spend, like, a, over a certain amount of money, uh, she does toss you in a couple, you know, testers, things you can try out to see if you like and if you want to order those next time. Uh, she just, she's really awesome. She's overly kind. Uh, coming from New York, you don't see a lot of kindness. And she's overly kind, overly generous. She's just a really down-and-out, nice, decent person. And uh, to talk to her is like talking to a friend. You know, like, you'll never, you'll never feel uncomfortable with her. And, you know, don't be afraid to ask a question. Jump on and speak to her. And definitely, I would custom order something and tell her, hey, look, can you make this with a bunch of glitters? Can you make this, you know, with this scent or that? She says, that is like, uh, there's not many things on the Etsy site, but you can buy her recipes right there on the Etsy site. Or you could just watch her YouTube channel. She doesn't give up every single thing in the YouTube channel, but she gives up enough. So her YouTube channel is amazing. Definitely jump on and subscribe there. And it's you'll see her in all of my comments down below. We talk back and forth. And you'll see her there. Um, the, atomic, uh, the atomic symbol is there. Which, do I have it on here? I think I have it on here. Uh, nope, I don't have it on here. But see the name? Atomic Bomb. You'll see Atomic Bomb down in the comments down below. Or you can just look it up on your YouTube search engine. Subscribe to her channel. She has an awesome channel. She's down to earth and actually speaks to you. So it's very, very reassuring working with a smaller company to know that you are getting a luxury bath bomb. This is not just a bath bomb. This is a luxury bath bomb. This has everything you need in it. You don't need to go any further. No bath melts, no nothing like that. Don't bother. Just get a bath bomb from Atomic Bomb. You're going to love it. But uh, I don't know what more I can say except for get your asses on there and start ordering because she's got the shit. Um, there's no other way to say it. She's got it. and She's got everything. And she will custom you any sense, any colors, anything you can think of. Um, just, she can do it. No problem. She also does a Play-Doh dough. She does, like, a fun-type substance. Like, Luscious Fun. She does so much cool shit. She does, you know, she'll do a bubble bar for you. Anything you want, she'll do it. And it's gonna be as amazing as this. Because everything that I have touched from her, absolutely amazing. I just don't get it. She is the bath bomb whisperer. I, I don't understand where she got these recipes, or how she did this, but she must have taken years out of her life to figure them out. And she just created an amazing bath bomb, an amazing bath for you. But we are almost at our 15 mark, guys, and this is our bath, all our bubbles, and our dark water. I can't believe I got black water out of a rainbow bomb. <laughs> That's so cool, though. I should learn my color wheel, right? <laughs> but uh, I love you all. Uh, apologies for not doing the bath last night. But you know how it is with a baby. Um, not gonna wake his ass up. <laughs> I love you. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Look for the Hex Bomb giveaway video that I have listed on here. I'm apologizing for not putting out Ticklish Giraffe yet, but Ticklish Giraffe giveaway is coming up very shortly. I just have been losing myself and not being able to get any sleep and losing my shit. But I love you and good night.